Hello guys, welcome to the second part of the WhatsApp Cloud API video series. In this video, we'll be comparing the newly announced Cloud API to the previously available On-Premises API. On-Premises API needs you to rely on third-party business service providers like Wapi, Twilio, etc. for you to use WhatsApp Business API. They cost a significant amount of extra money for the services provided. So let's start with our first comparison, Server Setup. In Cloud API, the servers are hosted by Meta, which requires a significantly less setup time compared to on-premises API, which required you to set up and maintain your own server or get help from a third party. The second comparison is messaging limit. Using Cloud API, you can send and receive up to 80 messages per second, which include media messages without separate media API. Meta is also planning to add an option to upgrade to 250 messages per second by the end of July. Whereas in on-premises API, you can send up to 70 messages per second and sending media messages may reduce this number because it uses third-party media API providers to do the job. The third comparison is upgrades and security features. If you use Cloud API, Meta performs API software upgrades. Also, features and security updates are automatically available via the Cloud API. And in order to adapt to long-term API changes, only minor modifications will be necessary in the code. And in on-premises API, individual firms or BSPs must upgrade their API software on a regular basis. The Cloud API does not have a sticker support unlike on-premises API, but they plan to add this feature in the near future. Meta also puts the limitation that businesses cannot use on-premises API and Cloud API with the same phone number. So we recommend that companies switch to Cloud API only after testing if it's suitable for them to use with a new test number. And then moving their actual phone numbers when they're confident and ready to accept WhatsApp Cloud API for their business. WhatsApp Cloud API does not have its own platform. You'll need to use it on your own business platform or using a business service provider. We recommend that companies use the Cloud API due to its low cost, ease of implementation and maintenance, as well as no dependence on any third party. I hope you liked the video, which is part of the WhatsApp Cloud API series. Hit like and subscribe because we are covering the entirety of WhatsApp Cloud API and we'll be covering more questions you might have regarding Cloud API. Until then, adios amigos.